I use PayHip because it is free and it is easy to navigate. And in fact, a lot of people use it. So today in this video, I'll show you how to make your own store on PayHip. So let's just move to the screen. First of all, you can just Google for it, just like this, PayHip, and it's gonna be the first result here. You will land on this page. And as you can see, you can sell digital downloads, courses, coaching, and more. To show you that this is free, first, I will head over to the pricing section here. And as you can see, it can be free forever. All right, it is $0 per month, but they will take 5% of every transaction fee. So you can use it for free, but they will take a cut. But I honestly think that it's not big. So what do you want to do first? Well, just like any other website, make yourself an account for free. Enter your email address in this box and click here. From there, you just have to enter some simple information about yourself, you know, first name, last name, blah, blah. And then from there, you just have to enter the store name inside of this box. Let's say I wanted to sell a Premiere Pro course. Actually, I miss an E here. So I will name it like this. Click on continue button. And then you have to specify your store username. This is different than name because it'll appear on your link here. So make sure it's something, you know, recognizable or something catchy. I'll use this. So Premiere, Mr. Money, get started selling, and then you will land on your dashboard. So as you can see, these are the three first steps that you gotta do. Add your first product, add your payment methods, which we're gonna do later, and then customize store design. Basically, you can just start from the store and it'll ask you to add the first product. So if you click on store here, you will land here where you can just click on launch your store builder. Now about the store builder, it is very user friendly and you will see that it is just drag and drop feature. So please add your first product, click on this plus icon, add first product, and this is where you firstly have to choose what do you sell. You can sell digital products such as eBooks, or you can just head over to courses, which I will be doing in this video. Then you've got memberships, physical products as well. Then you have coaching services and bundles. All right, so let me just go with course. Let's just pretend that I have a course and from here you just have to give it a name, right? I'll just use this. So Premiere Pro Ultimate Course, add course. And then this is gonna depend on the product that you choose to make because with a course, you will have these sections, right? So these sections and then you add new lessons and you rename them. Renaming is done by clicking here and then just specify another name. And then here you see that you can turn on free preview for this course if you run that. And here's the button where you publish a lesson. But since this is different than if you want to, let's say, sell a digital product, I'll show you that as well. So let's just click on digital product here. As you can see right away, it is different because here you just have to upload a product file. I'll just add some kind of a Premiere Pro project. So I'll click on this. I will upload this PSD file. Actually, it's PPT, but it doesn't matter. And you can upload more files here. Now, this is only one product. All right, so this is the product. Let's say $50 for this item. And I'll just name it like, let's say Premiere Pro Intro. Now, very important thing is to upload a product image because you know that it's gonna increase the conversion rate if you make it nice. For this, I always use canva.com because it is free. You can see that I have an account here. You can just click on custom size here and you can choose 1920 by 1080 pixels. And this is gonna give us a nice banner that we can now use. Now, you can type in the search bar, for example, cover, and it's gonna give you a lot of these templates that you can use. Now, be aware that these with a crown you have to pay for. As you can see, you have to be a subscriber to get these with a crown, but all these without a crown, and there's a lot of these, such as this one, let's say. I'll just move it onto the screen. This is free, but you have to change it. And of course, it's gonna be good for you if you change the text, maybe the picture, maybe the alignment, maybe the font, whatever. Here, you can put your logo, and here, you can always change the text. So, let's just do it like this. So, Premiere Pro, and I'll just type in Premiere Pro Tutorial. Now, this is here, placeholder for a text. You can put your number, but you can always delete this if you don't wanna give your numbers, right? You can put, like, Instagram icon and put your Instagram icon there and the website right now you will design this for your own use case i'll just click on share now and click on download 
and PNG is the file type that we need. Click on download and it's gonna go over to your computer. Now you go back and you upload that product image and this is it. This is our thumbnail, let's say for the product. Down there, you've got a description box. It is a good thing to have very nice description but you have to keep it brief, right? Don't go and type a lot of things there because normally people will land on the page after you did the marketing for it. So this is just the buy option here, the checkout phase. You can of course always use ChatGPT. Just ask for a brief description for your product. In this case, my Premiere Pro course. Just copy the thing and paste it here inside of pay hip description box. This is nice. Down there, visible always do this and then just click on add product here and you're done with the first product you see how easy this is not a lot of crazy things you know crazy settings that you gotta go or some hoops that you gotta jump through it's it's just good and what you get is this this is your product page link you can share this one immediately and people can access to your product immediately but you have to set up your payment method first which i'm gonna do in a moment but let me just show this product page so you can see how it looks like. So as you can see, just like any other checkout page that you've seen online, but as you can see, seller is unable to receive payments since their PayPal or Stripe account has not yet been connected. I'll do that later. Down there, the customer can see what kind of file they will get to download after they click on the buy button. And this is your thumbnail. This is how it looks like. So now I'm just gonna head over to the shop and this is your store. And since we have only one product, well, we have one thumbnail here with the name and the price. This is your about me section. And I'll show you how you can just edit this as well. In fact, you can just visit the store builder from here. So store builder, and it's gonna bring you to the store builder here. But if you don't wanna do like this, I'll just exit store builder here and I'll show you how you can get to it from the dashboard. And here it is, the store is here. All right, so click on store, launch your store builder. And now since we have the first product, it's gonna allow us to go inside of this. So this is just like any other website design drag and drop tool that you can find online. And here you can just click on header and there's like store logo, navigation links, header settings, announcement bars, different kinds of elements that you can just add into or just logos. You can just upload a certain logo and it's just easy to navigate. So I will exit this header now. And then in the collection tab, you've got options to choose the aspect ratios, whether to show price or not, and then choose number of columns on desktop. For example, if you add two products, just choose two products and this is gonna be bigger. And the next one is gonna appear here. Right? If you have three, just go with three and this is gonna be smaller. You can even change the spacing and all of that. Down there you have some advanced features and you can mess around with these. I don't wanna waste your time because as you can see now, it's just gonna show the price and the title on hover, right? But honestly, I don't like this. I like this to be shown at all times. So I will just save changes by clicking here on the blue button. Now I will just go back here. And here's the thing where you can just add a section. So for example, you can add more pictures. You can add some more descriptions. You can add text, slideshows. You can even embed a video inside of this one. So for example, you've got a YouTube video which outlines the best possible things about your product. You can put it there. And of course, the about me section is right here. So about me section, you can replace and remove this image. You can put your own, of course, and then just change this about me text section. All right, for example, like this, you know, you can put whatever you want. And that is it in a nutshell, right? You don't need anything else apart from the payment options. So that's the last thing that you got to do before this is ready. You know, this is all, all it's ready. I mean, I'm actually amazed how easy the process is here. As you can see, we added our first product and we customized the store design. This is all you need, whatever kind of digital product you already have marketed. And the last step is to set up the checkout. You can just immediately click on it. Click on set up checkout here and then choose PayPal or Stripe, whichever one of these you use. 
Unfortunately, there's no kind of any other payment options. So far, they've got only these two. And it's really simple. If it's PayPal, click on PayPal. It's gonna open PayPal, put in your PayPal email, click on continue, and you're done with it. And just like that, your shop is ready. So yeah, PayHip is really good and you don't have to pay for it. And it's super, super easy to navigate. So wish you luck and I'll catch you in the next video.